Hi, my name is Corey Smith, and today we're going to be going over the basic controls of a quadcopter. If you already know what the controls are, then you can go on to the next video, How to Fly a Quadcopter Part 1. So all the individual controls usually have a few names associated with them. So the first control is called Roll, which will literally roll the quadcopter. Next we have Pitch, which will make the quadcopter tilt forward or backwards. Then Yaw, which will rotate left or right. And finally Throttle, which will make it go up or down. So those are the four main controls on a quadcopter, and everything else is pretty much optional. All those switches that you see up there pretty much do nothing. Well, I mean, they don't do nothing, but I'll get to that in a second. But first, one of the best things that you can do before you even get off the ground is learn how to hold a controller properly. You don't have to do this, but I strongly recommend that you use two fingers to grip the controls. It usually gives you a lot better accuracy that way, and your thumbs don't hurt after a while of flying. The next thing I'm going to talk about are flight modes. There's two main ones. The first is called manual or rate mode, which is kind of like flying a helicopter. Once you tilt the quadcopter, it's not going to auto level itself. It's just going to keep going. The next is called attitude or auto level, which actually will level itself out once the sticks are centered. There's also a flight mode called GPS hold, which will hold the quadcopter's position once the sticks have been centered. It's pretty much like attitude mode, but with a GPS. To access the different modes, they're usually on a three position switch like this one. Although most quadcopters are different, so you have to look at your manual to see where is the flight mode switch located if you bought one that's ready to fly. So those are the basic controls of a quadcopter. So if you like this video, you can subscribe. You can also go to my website, myfirstdrone.com, where you'll find a lot of useful information, and I'll see you in another video.